girlfriend. You gay. Girlfriend. You gay. Girlfriend. You gay. Girlfriend. Oh my god, people. What's going on, people? What's going on, family? It's your man, I'll be back once again. So, Terence Crawford has leaked a video of Errol. His name ain't Errol Spence anymore. His name is Errol Suspense. He's sus, 100%. You know what I'm saying? Them ones. And you know it's bad when... These are multiple independent events here. Yeah? you got a dude here who says, Hey, bro, back up. You are G-A-Y. Yeah? You're on the down low. And then you got a female in the video as well. Like, damn, this guy. He kind of sus. So you got... Men and women see things differently, yeah? This ain't one of them ones. The man saying, hey man, back up. You zesty. And the women are saying it too, so who ain't saying it? That's the question. Next thing you know, around this time, Terence Crawford puts out there that Jamel Charlo, he be acting like Errol Spence's wife. Yeah? So it's all coming together now. And it makes... Why is Jamel so angry? Why is Jamel defending so hard because Jamel see this video and that's why I, I feel sorry for this guy here yeah when Jamel sees this cat here he gonna get it 100% why because that's that's that, that's Jamel's man Errol Spence that's his man yeah and he, he ain't having you, you best believe it In te from what I'm hearing in Texas the gym is very volatile right now Jamel's kicking off like hey why are you kissing? Why are you trying to? Why are you? Why are you whipping up on another man? And you know what I mean. He want to be that one. He want to be in this video. Yeah, it's a bit like that zesty guy, Birdman, and Lil Wayne. Yeah, Lil Birdman was like, "Hey y'all, I kiss all my, I kiss all my brothers on the lips." Like, wow, what are they doing that one at? Do you know what I mean? It's kind of like whew, big gang, big fake gangster. Oh man, you know I kiss all my brothers on the lips. Like again. I need to know where they where they made that one at. Like, I ain't never heard of that one. <laughs> Listen, I ain't never heard of that one before. Do you know what I'm saying? No, I ain't never heard of it. Cause you want to that's that one. Where that one's from is is where they call or what they call the location of when people ask where they doing that. At, I can tell you where. On the down low is where they're doing that. At. Yeah, this is some down low behavior. Baby, Birdman down low. Yeah, Charlemagne down low. Boulay looking ass, hundred percent. These guys are all boule. Yeah, look into it. The black boule, boule, zesty. And it seems to be. Don't forget, Al Heyman. He patterned up with. I mean, look at Floyd Mayweather. There's a reason all of Floyd Mayweather's friends always wind up missing. You know, they wind up. All, they will be winding up dead before their time. Yeah, boule, hundred percent. And the boule guys, Al Heyman. That's how they get down. Yeah, that's how you get into it. Yeah, you understand that, and it's inevitable. Yeah, these guys zesty. Uh, I hope I'm wrong, but uh, oh, this is zesty behaviour, man. I'm not, again, I'm not sure what they're doing this one. That. I, I just ain't sure of it. On, on video as well, maybe, I don't know, maybe if... Uh, these men are growing men as well. Have I done some suspect things? Like messing about? I, I don't even know, you know. This usually, yeah, if I've done anything like this, I've got to be honest here, it's, <laughs> it's usually... With the white boys, I ain't gonna lie to you. The white boys, they'd be like, they get a few beers in them and they'd be doing that kissing thing. But that's the only time I've been around any of that kind of stuff. So when, that's what I mean. When you see, it's just not, it just don't normally, when I've been with any of my, yeah, we, I'm trying to think, no, it just don't go down like that. Do you know what I'm saying? It just, it just don't. I can't think, if it's, yeah, I just don't get that one. Why are you being in a situation trying to kiss on some next man's neck? I just don't get that. That's just me, though. Again, may, maybe they be doing different in Texas. No, I'll tell you what they be doing different on a down low. Yeah? That's what... Look at this guy. He, he be looking like a whole princess right now. Look at this guy. And it's not just him. I've got videos coming soon of Tank. Tank's got some weird things where he's like... He's like... Mm, he's doing twerking and doing... Them. Look at Wilder as well. Wilder twerking and... Harold Spent Zesty and Jamel Zesty. Who else you got? The other guy. Who we got? Jamel, Spence, um, Tank, and Wilder. That's more or less the whole stable. Yeah? There's a reason for that. The boule. They've been turned these men out. They've been turned out. Simple as that. Yeah, these behaviours, it's well known within prison. 
A man can come to prison being a full man. But once you get turned out, it changes your... I think I tweeted about this a few weeks ago. When a man gets turned out, yeah, it changes your genetic makeup. It does something deep. It's a bit like I've heard a lot of stories about um, young men who have been abused by weirdos, by old weird, old creepers, yeah. A lot of them end up H-O-M-O. Yeah, because when you're, even if you're older, but it's particularly in your formative years, when you're growing up and you're going through adolescence, to be turned out, yeah, it, it, it changes, it changes how it function. It, it mixes you all up. Now, you won't see no lion. You won't see no, listen, what you, will see, what you might see in the jungle is, you might see a lion killing another man's cubs, another lion's cubs. You might see a lion killing another man, you won't see a lion, yeah, hanging out the back of another lion, do you get that, that's just how it works, <laughs> when you're a man, you don't need to be pushing in no one dinner, <laughs> that's what the women for, that's what the Panani for, 100%, do you understand that, yeah, in the jungle, if you're a man, you ain't need to be pushing no one dinner in, because you've got the Panani there, so that's what, this is what the, that's what male behaviours are, so, when you go to jail, or you go to one of these Boulay's SD, Al Heyman joints, and I'm, I have no doubt, Errol Spence and Wilder and Tank Davis, they probably were solid dudes once, yeah? Before Al and all of his friends took their, t you know, 100%, same thing, same thing in jail, dudes can go to jail being solid, they get turned out, and next thing you know, they got pink hair, and they got wigs on, that's not no norm, that's not no, f it's not, I mean, where else in life would that happen? Where else would a man be solid and straight and then start wearing pink hair? It don't happen like that. You got turned out, 100%. You get turned out, I think maybe it's a defence mechanism, psychologically, where it's kind of like, well, it's better for me to play this role. Yeah, if 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 Al and all the boule, if they're going to be taking turns on me anyway, I might as well be zesty. It's kind of like a way of processing things. Yeah, kind of like, it's better to just take it, why, why fight it for, let's just go with the flow, let's, pre let's pretend it's almost like taking power back, let me pretend I wanted to be doing this anyway, because, you know, listen, you know Al and his friends, they're going to get theirs, yeah, they, they're they taking theirs anyway, so you might as well, now, I, I wanted to be on the down low, I wanted to be zesty, so it's not, no one's taking anything from me, in the main, humans don't like the idea of, of them losing something, or of someone being taken, they'd rather, in their own mind, oh, I gave that to him, I gave it to him anyway, no one wants to be violated in that way, and that's what you're seeing here, Errol Spencer decided, you know what, it's better that I just, I fall into it, I play my role, as a boule bottom, yeah, that's what you're seeing here, and listen man, Crawford, if I'm wrong, if if any of you man have got zesty videos of Crawford, show me, put them through, yeah, because he might be down with that, that, that Bob Aaron one as well, 100%. All them, man, there. Yeah, they'll be zesty. But so far, I haven't seen nothing zesty from Crawford. And thank God, God willing, there's nothing zesty out there. Yeah. And that's just what it is. But, um, yeah. Listen. Uh, this is good for Crawford fans. Why? Because it means there's a good chance Errol Spence's legs, yeah, his glutes... His legs in general. There's a reason they call it blowing your back out, yeah? When you've got dudes running up in your back, that don't make for strong legs. Yeah? It's as simple as that. It don't make for strong legs. It loosens up. It loose... <laughs> There's a reason they call it loosey-goosey. Yeah? <laughs> oh, my God. So, his, his shit... Be, listen, at the end of the day, his shit be loose right now. His legs be loose. His legs be weak. weak the weak legs. That's what it'll be... Or potentially, I don't know how the boule be working. Maybe the boule give give spent some time off. Yeah. Oh, we give spent. We're gonna give spent some time off because he's got a big fight. I don't know, but the fact of the matter is, there's a chance his back and his legs are gonna be tired. They're gonna be loose. Yeah. So that's only beneficial for Terence Crawford. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's funny, funny stuff, man. Let me know your thoughts. Smash the like button, subscribe, and let off to about 100%. No doubt about this one.